Hi everyone, welcome to the session today. I am so incredibly excited that you guys were able to make it to this particular session. I'm sure that uh, you must have struggled a little bit with your busy schedule and how you're going to manage your study abroad journey. How are you going to start with your SOP, your LOR, GRE preparation, all of that in the middle of your busy schedule. So at Yorkit, we decided that if you can't come to some of our live webinars, why don't we make sure that our sessions come to you? So whether you're watching it over the weekend or you are at work secretly watching it, you're commuting to school or work, or you're coming back from work. Whenever you're watching it, I'm sure that this video is going to be vital and very, very important for any student or any working professional who is aiming to get into the top universities abroad, be it US, UK, Canada, Australia. I'm going to be breaking down the entire process for you, why you should be consulting or why you should be asking an expert what your study abroad direction should be how your kid is going to help you and how your life essentially is going to completely change once you are at your kid. So if you couldn't tell already, it is an on-demand webinar, which means that you can watch it at your own pace, at your own time, at your own convenience. Because obviously, if your busy schedule is keeping you away from your study abroad journey, we wouldn't be so happy. So we want to make sure that we are giving you all the resources, all the tips, all the tricks, and a complete breakdown of your kit premium so that you can start your study abroad journey right away. But before we start, I want to actually introduce myself so that all of you guys who are watching it, as I mentioned over the weekend, right after this webinar drops, all of you guys who are watching it know who I am and what I'm talking about. So I am a marketing and communication specialist here at Yorkit. My name is Morvi. And apart from that, apart from being a member of Team Yorkit, I am also a Yorkit Premium member, which means that I will be flying out to my dream university in fall 2023. I've gotten five admits so far and three scholarships from three of the universities. I've also been selected as the student body ambassador for one of the universities that I'm going to go to. Now, that on itself was something that I wouldn't have believed if you would have told me that you could do all of this probably six months back. I wouldn't have believed you. But my editors, my counselors, and my Yorkit team actually made it happen. So I want to make sure that all of the things that I'm going to be talking about come right from my heart, right from my journey. And I want to make sure that my journey is translated to you guys. But before we actually dive into why do you need expert help? Do you think that you can do it on your own? I want to just divert all of your guys' attention to how lengthy and how difficult the process is for anyone who's applying abroad. First of all, let me bust down a myth for you guys. A lot of people think that um, study abroad journey starts the day that you put in your application and that can't be farther from the truth. Let me break down the entire process for you. Step one is actually selecting the course and selecting the country that you want to go for. Some people want to go for a master's in computer science. Some people want to go for master's in data science. How do you know that which course is exactly for you? Second step is choosing the country that you want to go for. US, UK, Canada, Australia. You have to level down your options and understand which country is going to be perfect for you. After that, the third step is shortlisting universities. Now, there are two ways to go about it. Either you give your standardized test first and then do your shortlisting or you do your shortlisting first and then give your standardized test. If you're shortlisting universities first, you want to break down the entire process based on your profile. This is a pro tip for me and I want everybody to pay very special attention to this. Do not, and I repeat, do not shortlist universities on the basis of somebody else's profile. You think that, uh, oh, my cousin or my friend has gotten into University of Texas, Dallas with this profile, and I will be able to get into the same university with the same profile. That usually rarely happens. The reason is it's a unique journey and it's not for, it's not a common forum. It's not a common journey. Your study abroad journey and your journey to top universities is going to be unique for you. So your application, your entire profile is going to be wildly different from me. And that is what's going to decide whether or not you get into the dream university that you have. So 
once you're done with that, once you've shortlisted your universities, next step is jump right into your standardized test, GRE, GMAT, or your, if you're giving for your UG exam, then you have to give your SAT or your ACTs. Coming to the English exams or English proficiency test, you might have to give IELTS, PTE, TOEFL, or Duolingo. So these are some of the tests that you will be required to give if you have to get into a good university or just any university for that matter. Once you're done with your GRE, which by the way, on average takes close to three months. For me also, when I was preparing for my standardized test, I thought that I'll be able to nail it down and crack it in a month. That didn't happen. It took me actually a lot of time in order to make sure that my score was high enough for the universities that I was aiming for. So if you're thinking that, oh, this process is just going to take me two months, it's not going to take you two months. It's going to take you far longer than that. Next comes the biggest and the most daunting process, at least for my journey, the SOP, LOR, essays, and your documents. Most students go into SOP and LOR thinking that it's a daunting and impossible task, but when you come at your kid, when you talk to counselors and you find out the science behind SOP, you find out what goes into a perfect stellar SOP that can track Ivy League, trust me, the process from there on is going to be much, much easier for you. Now, SOP on average can take you about three to four weeks, more depending on the universities that you're applying for. Sometimes you have to apply to 10 different universities. So you'll have to write an essay for 10 different universities instead of one. So there you have it. You have to actually put in the amount of effort and the amount of time that you have to put in is going to vary depending on your profile, your journey, and the universities. Next is, obviously, if you are given an essay or if you're given a video interview, then you have to prepare for your video interview and appear for that. And after that, the long time of waiting. So you wait for your admit, you wait for your scholarship letters. That by far has to be the most difficult process, but there's another way to actually make it much more smooth for you. Okay, now this, after this, you have to actually go forward with your financial documents, loan process. That also can take quite some time and it can be lengthy. And finally, the visa process. A lot of students who are watching it for US, I'm sure you guys must be terrified of visa. And rightly so because even a lot of my friends who got into top universities actually got a visa rejection simply because one or the other document was not in place you don't want that to happen simply after putting so many months of effort and hard work that is the last thing you want to do right so can you guys even imagine the amount of time and amount of hard work it's going to take you to put together your application for me I was a working professional and I was studying when I was putting together my application and it became so difficult for me. Let me actually answer this question because I get this a lot. Do I need counseling? How will my process or how will my journey be different if I have a counselor with me, if I have an expert with me? Well, number one, the attention to detail. The entire process or the entire study abroad journey is very vast and very deep. Sometimes what ends up happening is that a lot of people do not know very small details in the study abroad journey. And if you're starting out, you might be scared of every single step. Having a counselor with you and an expert with you guiding for each and every single step is actually going to be really, really helpful. For my, let's take my example. So when I was writing my SOP, I made a small mistake of writing my, a quote essentially in the beginning of my SOP. And my editors told me that this is a very big mistake because it doesn't show who you are. It's just summarizing your essay before you even start, which was mind blowing for me. I never thought of it that way. Second thing, I got my scholarship and I was very happy. But I told my counselor that I feel that I can get slightly more than that. And my counselor actually gave me the turnabout of how to do it and how am I supposed to mail the university? What should I write in my email so that I can politely ask for a higher scholarship amount? That made all the difference. 
not only were the university happy to consider, but they also gave me double the scholarship amount than I got earlier. So all of these things are actually going to be much, much more beneficial for you once you start with an expert, once you start with a counselor. And obviously, who wouldn't want to get a scholarship even when you thought that you wouldn't get into a university? That is a really big relief. And that is something that I feel everyone should have the opportunity to. Next, why Yorkit? Why am I supposed to come to Yorkit when I can go to any other consultancy? What makes Yorkit different? And why are so many students, precisely 1 million students across the world, so committed to Yorkit? So the answer is very simple. We keep you guys before we keep ourselves. We want to make sure that our students succeed before us, right? Now, I have seen, I had a friend of mine who went to a different consultancy and she had a stellar profile, but she found that the consultancy was actually pushing her to this particular set of universities. And she wasn't able to understand why was that happening? The universities weren't greatly ranked. They had some issues with the student bodies. They weren't just great universities in general. And her potential actually allowed her to get into good universities. Later, it was revealed that these were partner universities. So some students were pushed only to get into certain universities. In my case, that never happened with me. The university that I ended up finalizing was not the university that was a Yorkit partner. And I never found that my counselors were pushing me for only one university. Actually, this is a direct quote from my counselor who said that, listen, I am not going to dictate which university you're going to get into. I'm even not going to help you put your finger on this is the university I want to go into. I'm going to just help you guide, put a direction for your profile, and just help you understand which university will be best for your goals. And ultimately, the decision is yours. And the day I came back with my decision, my counselor was so happy and so delighted that I was able to put together a decision. And I was so happy that there was nobody to force me into this particular decision. So that was something that I really, really, really enjoyed at Yorkit. And I hope that everybody here, all the people who are planning to come to Yorkit, I hope that this becomes exactly your journey. Now, I actually want to show you, I get a lot of questions for this one, that how does Yorkit actually help? Is there any way that Yorkit can help me other than just helping my profile? Let me show you. Let me share my screen quickly and I hope that my screen is visible to every single person who is here. So not only is Yorkit going to help you with your entire application process, but these are some other ways that Yorkit can help you with your busy schedule, with so much mental stress going on, especially with working professionals and students who are in their final year. This is going to be life-saving for you. If you guys want, screenshot it so that you can read it at your own leisure. Now, how does Yorkit Premium actually help? Let me run you down the entire process of what's going to happen once you come to the other side of the screen. And once you do come to the other side of the screen, I'm going to make sure that we sit, have a conversation. We actually might even relay your journey to other aspirants, okay? So once you come to the other side of the journey, once, let's say, you have put down your money, you have gotten Yorkit Premium, the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to get personalized counselors. Now, a lot of people think it's going to be one. No, it's going to be a team of counselors. You're going to get a primary counselor, a lead counselor, an editor, a financial advisor, and a visa advisor. Your primary counselor and your lead counselor will be the people who will be with you throughout your journey. So right from evaluating your profile down to helping you choose the university that you want to go for, your counselors will be there with you. Second, profile building. When it comes to profile building, that is a major, major factor. There are some universities that have a gravitation towards a particular type of uh, profile. Let's say if you're going to UK, which is a more academic-based country, you want to show that your profile is more academically strong. If you're going to US, which is a research-based country, which focuses a lot on research, you want to make sure that your profile stands out. Your kid counselors are going to help you with profile building, highlighting the main points and the best parts about your profile, and also highlighting the not so good parts about your profile. 
For example, backlog. In my case, a career change. My bachelor's and my master's degree are completely unrelated, but my counselors were able to actually tell me the trick and tell me how am I supposed to build a link. So that's going to happen. Number three, as I was talking about, university shortlisting. You do not have to do this process alone. Once your counselors breaks your profile down, they're going to give you a list of universities which they feel you'll be a perfect fit for. They will be ambitious universities. That means the top universities, some moderately ranked universities. That means you have a good chance of getting in and some safe universities. That means these universities are going to 100% get into. Now this list is not set in stone. Feel free to mold this list, modify it according to your profile. Fourth, application support. The most important factor for you to get an admission. Application support, which means that your all of your documents, your LORs, your SOP, your essays. Sometimes you have to write additional essays for scholarships. Sometimes you have to write additional videos for your scholarships. So all of that will also be taken care of. Course and country guidance, getting deep into what the course is about, what the country is about, everything. And six, my favorite, scholarship and research assistant and teaching assistant guidance. This for me was really, really important because as I mentioned, I wasn't even thinking I'm going to get into universities, but because my counselors had so much faith, they actually helped me with scholarships, where to find them, how to apply for them. What are some things that you should avoid in order to get a scholarship? Let me actually tell you, we had a student who had a couple of backlogs who did not only get into a top US university, but also got scholarship. So our scholarship numbers have been high. Let me just tell you that. Okay, next, video interview guidance. I have actually cracked two universities solely on the basis of my video interview, and that is huge. If you're given a chance to interview, never lose it and make sure that you're putting your best foot forward. This is something that your kid counselors are also going to help you with. And next, as I was mentioning, financial guidance, loans, the entire process is so easy. Your kid has partnered with a lot of industry leading banks in the entire industry. They're going to actually do all the heavy lifting and all the work on your behalf. You do not even have to lift a finger in order to get your loan. So even right now, once you are, let's say once you come to the stage that I am in, where you have applied for a loan, you will get a sanction within a couple of weeks. It's not even a couple of weeks. Within a couple of days, you will be sure to get your financial loan sanction. Then you can proceed with your visa. Oh, I know visa is something that scares every single person all the time. Trust me, I am in the same boat. I am so scared of my visa application. But the visa advisor that you're going to get at your kid are industry leaders. They have more than 10, 15 years of experience dealing with student visas. So what's going to happen is that not only are your visa advisors going to help you with streamlining your visa documents, but they're also going to give you mock interviews. My advisors are actually giving me one mock interview each week leading up to the days that I have my visa slot. So, and after the end of each interview, they give me pointers to note. They give me notes that this is something that you should change. This is something that you should highlight. Do not say this. They're telling me all the nitty gritties that will be required for me to crack my visa interview. And if you're getting somebody with this much experience in the field, I wouldn't suggest that you lose it. So visa interview is also something that your kid is going to help you with. Free departure session really important. Once you land into the country that you want to go for, before that happens, your kid is going to connect you with mentors and with experts, with destination experts, in order to make sure that you have a complete guidance about which country you're going for, what culture can you expect, where to find jobs also. So pre-departure session, mentorship with fellow alumni for pe from people who have already gotten into the university that you're going into, Yorkin has the biggest network of students going to study abroad each year. And once you have your admin, we're going to connect you with alumni who either had similar profiles like you or got into the same university. And you can connect with them and see what your student life is going to look like. And finally, AI. Yorkin, actually, the reason that I wanted to stick to Yorkin and that made me come to Yorkin 
was the fact that there was such a beautiful blend of human intelligence and AI. All the tools and all the documents, I do not have to forward it on email. I don't have to forward it to five different people. I do not have to follow up on WhatsApp or any messenger. All of my documents get collected on a particular dashboard that is shared with every single advisor, right? This is something that's really important for anybody who doesn't like to actually, again, for all the students who are, let's say, working professionals, students who are uh, in their final year or who are doing the capstone project, it's really difficult to send your documents to 18 different people for them to check. But the best thing about Yorkit is all of your documents will be stored in a particular doc section in your app only, easily visible and accessible to you and your counselors only. Another thing, all the things that we have are properly mapped out, not only by human intelligence, by people who have done it for years in the industry, but by AI also. This gives you a double edge of accuracy. In my case, and that has been the case of 6,000 other people who get into top universities each year. So, I mean, you couldn't get better than that. You're getting the best of both worlds with people who have been in the industry for 15, 20 years and who have seen the industry evolve and know the industry trends. And finally, with AI, with artificial intelligence, that's actually going to predict each and every single touch point based on your profile. So now that we know so much about your kid, let's actually see some of the stories that we have from your kid, people who thought that they're never going to get into a good university, who actually ended up making it to the top universities abroad, be it backlogs, be it low GP or a low GRE score, nothing is impossible at your kid. So I'm going to once again, allow me to share my screen with you guys. And let's understand the case of Namita. Namita, a student who changed her major, and we made sure that her profile is according to university standards. If you see her CGPA even here is 6.4. A lot of people get really intimidated if their CGPA is below seven, but just look at Namita. She pursued her bachelor's in CS, program she did was MIS and the country she went into US. I don't want you guys to just see the admitted university that she got into, but look at the key counseling areas. These were some of the things that we made sure that we are developing. So not only did your kid encourage and her counselors encourage her to build her profile for online certifications for professional courses, but she also joined an NGO, which showed her motivation and proved her motivation to pursue an education in US. Now, documentation was the biggest thing for Namita's case, because obviously, let's say we have a 6.4 um, GPA, but zero backlogs, which is a great thing. But in order to make up for the GPA, we had to do something else. Now, these were all the things that we did. And Namita got into one of the best universities for an MIS program, Northeastern University, Boston. So if anybody here who's watching this, as I mentioned, from your home, from your work, from your school, if anybody here relates to Namita, you know what I'm talking about. And this is a clear indication of how we are going to help you. Next, another person, we have Manohar. So Manohar actually said this, this particular sentence to us, and I keep hearing it over and over again, that your SOP can literally make or break your application. If you have, uh, if you do not put enough effort into your application, at least your SOP, you stand no chance. And this is something that one of our lead editors, Vivek, also always says that um, a decent profile with an amazing SOP, your chances of admits are here. And a great profile with a not so good SOP, your chances of admits are here. That's why you'll always catch me hearing, do not copy paste your SOP from the thousands of templates available on Google. Big no. So let's talk about Manuhar for a moment here. The problem statement was change of majors, same as me. He completed his BTEC in a completely different industry and then went for business analytics, which is again, a completely different industry. Same as me. The thing was he had two years of work experience, got into US and these were the key counseling areas that we helped him with. Shortlisted universities as per his profile and requirements. 
instead of following a set pattern for every single student, we have personalized guidance for every student. This is what makes a success rate so high. Now we helped him on SOP that focused on the reason of changing his major, why he requested that, how it aided him in his journey and how it's going to be beneficial for him in the long run. He got more than four admits and the university that he selected was Arizona State University. I know that a lot of people who might be wanting to go to Arizona University, which is one of the top universities in US right now, comes in top 100. For people who want to go to Arizona State or people who want to go to Northeastern University of Boston might be feeling that uh, I don't have the profile. But for all of you guys, I want you to screenshot it right now. Keep it as essentially a souvenir so that you can keep looking at it. And it's, it's great for you. So you guys can actually imagine the amount of work and the amount of effort that any single Yorkit advisor is going to put in or a Yorkit counselor is going to put in into your, uh, let's say into your profile. And that is really important. Now, since we are on the same note, one thing that I actually want to tell you guys is do not delay, okay? I have done that. I have missed out on a lot of things, but I don't want you guys to delay. We actually have, I have one more special thing that I want to show you guys. But before that happens, I'm actually going to paste a small link in the chat for you guys. Now, if any one of you wants to talk to a counselor to start your journey right away, I'm going to paste the link of something called the golden form. Now this form, what it does is it's going to ask you a couple of basic questions about your intake, about your course and country, as well as a time that you want to talk to a counselor for a video call. Now video call is required because a counselor will be able to not only connect with you, bond with you, but you will also be able to share your entire profile with them. They will be breaking down your profile into the positives, and I wouldn't call it negatives, but not the great things in your profile like backlogs, low GPA, GRE score, anything of that sort. And they're going to sit with you, finalize the universities. They're going to shortlist universities with you. They're going to let you know your scholarship chances. So all of that is possible, obviously. Let me actually do one thing. Let me share the story of one of our premium student here at Yorkett and how he got into the best universities in US and what was his journey like. And also, I want you guys to be clearly aware of this journey because Divyam is going to speak a lot about great insight. And I want you guys to pay close attention, okay? So let me just share my screen and you guys will be able to check out the video. One time I got 170, 170. Basically, then I started out looking out for what what agency or what what person would. I hope that my screen was visible to everyone. If not, let me do one thing. Actually, if the video is not available, let me actually take the link of the video and paste it for all of you guys to be able to watch it at your own convenience. Now, the reason why I'm going to urge you guys specifically to play the video and to make sure that you're going through the entirety of the video is because of the fact that Divyam speaks about really important facts that not only made his journey different at Yorkit Premium, but also the fact that actually helped him to get into best universities abroad. Now, this will also aptly answer your question of, uh, do I need counseling? Do I need Yorkit? Do I, can I just go for a free consultancy so it's going to answer all of those points and specifically how Divyam also got into some of the best universities with um, actually now that reminds me Divyam got into some of the best universities with his admits and his admins were great so I want you guys to actually go through this entire journey and see how it's going to be I'm going to also paste some few more links in the chat box for you guys so you guys can quickly go ahead and uh, Look at those videos, see what other people are talking about for YouTube and just understand what your journey can be and how it's going to be so much more different once you come at your kid. So I hope that I was able to brief down every single thing about your kid now.
it comes, it brings me to the end part, but I have so much more to speak about, but I want to make sure that all of you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. And guys, be ready. You might have to quickly get your fingers on and screenshot these things because I'm not going to explain everything, but I'm going to show you the recent admins as well as some of the best scholarship numbers that we've gotten in the past. So five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. So here are all of the glimpses of the messages that we've received last week and all the student admits that we have received last week. So guys, quickly go ahead, screenshot this. And the next slide is going to be the scholarship numbers that we have gotten. So screenshot this. One of the things that I want you to, you know, put your attention down to was Abhiram Devanathan, who I have had the chance to speak to, received his admits from University of Michigan with a 50% scholarship for his whole course of two years for 55,000. And he got another scholarship from Cornell Tech for $30,000. So how cool is that? So I hope everybody has taken the screenshot. I hope everyone has understood what we're going to talk about. Here are some of our best scholarships that we have received recently. So you guys can actually see the amount. We have $22,000, we have $10,000, we have $9,000, we have 40% fees waiver, $24, $24,000 and $7,000. Now, it doesn't get better than that, now does it? We also have students with 50% fees waiver from Cornell University, from Ivy League. So you know exactly what we're talking about. We know our stuff and we're going to help you get into those stuff, right? So this is what we're going to help you with and your kid. Now, I always say this, that uh, if you aim to actually get into top universities and if you want to, again, make sure that your name also comes in the fame of hall, not for us, but for your journey, then it's really, really, really important for you guys to start as early as possible. As you can see here, again, this is a really important resource screenshotted right now an important resource you have to, it's going to give you a breakdown of when to start, how to start, what to do. Okay, so do a breakdown, understand what's going to happen, how are you going to do it and understand when to start essentially because starting early, starting right is the most important factor. So make sure that you're connecting with our team, make sure that you're talking to your kit experts as soon as possible, make sure that you are understanding your profile needs. So again, I'm going to paste the link in the chat box for all of you. Talk to a counselor. Talk to, you know, the York advisors here. Understand your profile. Break it down and see what's going to happen for you. Trust me, a lot of students, when they start, are scared, do not know where to go. But once you start, the entire journey is going to change for you. Trust me. Take it from me. Take it from a student who has uh, worked at York for years. And I have seen the entire industry also grow from last year to this year and, you know, predictions for the next year. And as a person who has seen so many students go and get into top universities, as a person who got into top universities with scholarship, when I started my journey in December, that's when I started very, very, very late. Don't do that. I actually missed out on some of the universities that I wanted to apply to because they had closed their deadlines. I was not able to put together my documents. Do not do that. So once I started my journey, one thing that actually bothered me a lot was the fact that I thought that I'm never going to get into any university. It's just, even I told my counselor the first day that I came in that even if I could get into one university, that would be enough for me. If you could just get me into one university, that would be really thankful. But because I had a huge back on my application that I was changing majors from completely unrelated field and here I am with five admits in hand three scholarships and an amazing opportunity for me so if you want to see yourself in the same place I wouldn't say in the same journey in the same shoes because your journey is unique and we want to keep it unique but if you want to see yourself on the same pedestal not pedestal also but if you want to see yourself on the same leg of the journey as me then you have to start right now. You have to start early. I've pasted the link in the chat for every single one of you. Make sure that you're watching the videos. Make sure that you're talking to a counselor as soon as possible because that is going to be a game changer for you. So with that said, I'm actually, I'm so excited and I'm so happy that I got the chance to do this session. 
because I was able to talk extensively to every single person. I'm sure that all of the people who are going to be watching it over and over again. Sometimes you might want to repeat a few parts. You missed a screenshot, so take a screenshot. But for people who watched it, I'm so happy and I'm so delighted that I got a chance to talk to you guys through at least the virtual barrier. But this would give you a very good understanding of what needs to happen in your future and how you're supposed to do it. So from here on, don't waste time. I wish you all the very best for your application process. I know that every single person who's going to watch it, I know for a fact that I'm going to see your name in the Hall of Fame of Admits here at your kid, at least with scholarships. So I have faith in you because if you're watching it, I know that you're dedicated enough to start your journey. So with that said, I wish you all the very best and I hope to see you guys in the Hall of Fame that we have here at your kid. And all the very best, guys. I know that all of you are going to get it. All of you have the zeal and gusto to do it. So all the very best. And I hope to see you guys again, hopefully in a session with me talking about your journey. So with that said, thank you so much, guys. And uh, I hope that you guys have a great day, great night, great evening. Whenever you're watching it, if you're watching it on the weekend, I hope you have a great evening. If you're watching it at work, you can go back to work now. So thank you so much, guys. And I'll see you again next time. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.